Standing on the pavement, he tugged his cuffs out of his jacket sleeves. He was in a small city now. The art gallery was stumpy. It had a chimney of an entrance hall. Yet inside, the first sound was enough. That echo, shoes on stone. Further in, his shoes were on wood. The grain absorbed his movement, his footsteps slowed. The picture's hangings, vertical chains, suggested rigging. He was on the deck of a ship. He was transported. More often than not, he didn't know why he stayed staring at a painting, and the gallery atmosphere protected that. In streets, in shops, on trains, on buses, people pressured him. They wanted him out of their way. They wanted his ticket, his money. In here, in the art gallery, people could coexist like saplings in a clearing.